Mrs. Kemp? Mrs. Kemp, my name is Detective Patrick Gray. I'm with the Atlanta Police Department. I'm unarmed. I do not have a weapon. See? I'm unarmed. Just want to talk. Mrs. Kemp, is, is your husband okay? Just let me check on him. Don't. Okay. Okay. Nobody else has to get hurt. Okay. Just put your gun down and step back. Okay, we're gonna make this as simple as possible. He thought it'd be simple too. Mrs. Kip, please. We don't have a lot of time, okay? There are people outside that door that won't hesitate to come in here and end this thing. And unfortunately, it won't end well for you. So please, help me, okay? Help you. Just, just put your gun down and step back. I am way beyond help right now, detective. That piece of shit laying on the floor right there screwed up any chance I could have ever had for help. So you can just walk out the door right now and be out shortly. It doesn't work that way. Look, you walk outside that door without me or with that gun in their hand, they will kill you. Miss Kemp, please, let me do my job. <laughs> job? That's all I've been hearing over the past 10 years. I'm out here working, doing this for us, San. It's my money, San. I'm sorry, San. He's my lover, San. And now I have fucking AIDS. So you see, detective, I don't have to walk out that door to die. I'm already dead. Supposed to do 
I should have never trusted you. Yeah, yeah, but you did. Your heart was so deceptive. No, no. Our hearts were deceptive. Thank God for hot water, huh, Sam? Somebody's in a good mood tonight. Oh, yeah. And why shouldn't I be? It's not every day your man gets awarded business man of the year, now, is it? No, baby, it isn't. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And who would ever thought, 15 years ago, me, a struggling contractor trying to find work? But then I met a beautiful woman who believed in my dreams and made them come true. Well, aren't you the lucky one? Yes, I am. And it's gonna be a good night tonight. It's gonna be a good night tonight. Hey. I wonder if they considered anybody else for that award. Oh, I seriously doubt that. Really, babe? Yes, really. Who else deserves this award more than me? The net profits I brought to this company has been the highest it's been in six years. Sean, last time I checked, I was part owner, and this is our company. Baby, look, I'm including you too. I'm just saying. <laughs> saying what? Look, I know you've done a majority of the work, but you don't deserve all the credit. Baby, I know that if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be the man I am today. Come on now, all that you've done. We don't want to be late. Chop, chop. It's all night to shine, baby. It's all night to shine. So you couldn't go one night without one of your little girlfriends calling you? What the hell are you talking about? Look, don't start that shit tonight. Not tonight. And why every time my phone rings, you think it's a woman? I see you still insecure. Whatever, Mr. Kim. And what is that supposed to be? It means that I'm sick of you thinking that I have to just, just accept your disrespectful ways. I'm not blind, Sean. I see the way you look at other women. Have you forgotten all those years we spent in counseling well, because you, you cheated on me? I'm out here working hard, day and night, so you can have that five carat diamond ring on your finger, that Mercedes you drive, and that $2 million home, that's all because of me. But you can't respect that. Instead of saying, baby, I'm proud. You're too busy out here trying to figure out shit. Sam, please. I love you. You my world. Look, I can't change the past. You know, I thought we worked through all that. Look, baby, look, look you, you have nothing to worry about. I just, I just hate feeling like this. Can you honestly tell me that I'm the only woman? Sam, I hate that I hurt you. I do. But don't I get the opportunity to prove my loyalty to you? Nothing. And no one can take away the love that I have for you. So to answer your question, yes, you the only woman. The only woman. Well, I guess it would be a shame if the businessman of the year was late for his own award. <laughs> yes, it would. Thank you. Alright, what? About to be a good night. Oh. What's, what's good, man? Hey. Heard y'all here snitching. What? 
Oh, hey, 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 hey. How about be a little bit more specific? Snitch, CI, rat, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Come on, man, that's not even my MO. I'm out here on the block trying to get it like everybody else. What? How you gonna come on my set thinking you just go? All right, you got it. Hmm? Hmm? You were saying? Come on, man, it's not even like that. Hmm. Alright. I'm late for an engagement. Let me find out you're lying. Business me? Or are we friends because you want to be some kind of stuff? Oh. <laughs> well, listen. I got some big things coming up. Alright? Mm -hmm. I haven't forgotten about you when we were discussed. I'm going to make sure I get you straight, alright? Uh -huh. All I need you to do is just be patient. And I'll make sure that you get a significant piece. Cool? I'm sure it'll be worth the wait. <laughs> oh yeah. 
You know I want to work with Sean again. Why? He's not worth the headache. I mean, he's just like a son to me. You know, I've been knowing him for a while. You think he got from where he is just from hard work? All right, Thank you, Alice. How are you now? Mm -hmm. Look at you. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you so much for your support. I'm always there. Count on you, brother. Anytime. Anytime. Hey, how are you? Mm -hmm. How are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? I'm doing well. You know I have a meeting tomorrow with your boss. Do you really? I do. I look forward to seeing you. Forrester, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. All right. All right. I look forward to seeing you as well. Yeah. Thank you. Sean, hey! How are you? Don't you know? Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing, my friend? Yeah, I've been hearing about you, man. Oh, how you doing, man? On the golf course or? Oh, oh, oh. All the way around the world. Yeah, yeah. Good. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing here? Big night, huh? Absolutely. Too bad this isn't a team award, huh? What are you talking about? Oh, you mean your six-year tenure with us? <laughs> Why are you here again? Oh, I say what I've done for this company has exceeded above and beyond any expectations. Besides, this is a family affair, right, Sandy? Yeah. I'm sorry. Sandra's. Don't get your ass kicked up in here. Oh, come on. We all family, right? I mean, what would my big brother say if he knew he was being mean to me? Hmm? Remember, you don't want to be mean to me. And, uh, whether you like it or not, I do plan on making Sean Hawkins. And I'm more than confident that he won't refuse. <laughs> you will never get away with this. And you know and what? Eventually, you two will learn to get along. You okay, baby? Absolutely. Good. Myron, did you set up that meeting tomorrow with Forrester? So I'll set for tomorrow at 10 a.m.? Now, if you don't mind. Yes, sir. What's up with y'all too, huh? I didn't know Forrester was interested in prestige. Look, baby, tonight is not about business, all right? It's about prestige and us. Okay. Let's uh, get back to our seats and enjoy the rest of the show, baby. Good. How my beard look? Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I think this is more than a legitimate offer, my friend. Your properties will be a huge asset to Prestige. I mean, hey, you can retire early, do some things you've always wanted, travel. Hell, you can even take your wife on a romantic getaway. So what do you say, buddy? We got a deal? As tempting as this sounds, I think I'm going to have to decline. We're still relevant in this business. The last time I checked, our net worth was greater than Prestige's by 80%. So thanks, but no thanks. Now, if you gentlemen will excuse me. 
I have some more important things to take care of. You sure you don't want to think about that? Wouldn't it be a shame if the properties that you owned mysteriously got destroyed? Or the homes that you're in the process of building came to a permanent home? That would be bad for business. Wouldn't y'all agree? Mm -hmm. I'd go to the authorities. And tell them what? Huh? What you gonna tell them? Because I like you, Forster, I'm gonna cut you another deal. Okay. You sell me your company for 30% less than my original offer, or I'm gonna have my associates pay a visit to some people I think you may know. Let's see. Adam and Jennifer Forster, 3456 Brookhaven Avenue, Norcross, Georgia. Gabriella and Anna Forster, 4067 Millbrook Lane, Augusta, Georgia. Thomas and Daniel Forster. Oh, and don't let me forget the lovely Mrs. Diana Forster. You bastard, I'll have you arrested. Who do you think you are? I suggest you calm down and listen. Go to hell, I'm going to the authorities. You know what? Use my phone. Put the girl on. Grandpa? Grandpa! Why are they doing this to me? Grandpa, help! Now, you listen to me. If you harm one hair on her head, you'll, I swear, you'll wish you were dead. You think you're in a position to threaten me? Look around, Mr. Forrester. Now, I'm going to ask you one more time. Do we have a deal, or do I have to deliver your granddaughter's body parts to each member of your family. Linda, call my attorney, get him on the phone ASAP. Now I have one of my associates stay behind just to make sure. You know, it'd be a damn shame to hear about a missing child. <laughs> have a nice day. Let's roll. Hey, Terry. Bring the car around. Ah, shit! Oh, I'm so sorry! Oh my god, Mr. Kemp, please, please don't tell Mr. Forrester. Look, look, don't worry about it. All right, I've got some unfinished business to take care of next week. Just have it clean for me. Yes, sir. I'll be back. Killing kids now? Do I look like I care about a motherfucking kid, man? This is about business, Myron. And sometimes there are casualties of business transactions. The kid just happens to be one. Sean, man. Look, I don't think he's gonna call the cops. Let me handle this, okay? Man, we don't need the heat of a dead girl coming down on us. Look, man, what kind of nigga is this? Look, man. There you go again. See, I don't pay you to think. And what if he does? He won't. <laughs> he won't. Make the call, man. Yes. It's me. 
let the girl go. <laughs> what? Oh, man. Priscilla Allen. Still interested in prestige. Yeah, I saw you two talking at the ceremony. What's up with that? Oh, yeah. Well, you already know. We had our little meeting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> yeah, man. She want a piece of this shareholder stock. You know, I'm thinking about selling her a decent percentage. So, you haven't given my proposal when you thought? <laughs> man, you were serious about that? Look, man, why, why would you want to invest in prestige stock? I mean, for the past 11 years, man, you made a big come up. <laughs> you got a good deal, man. Besides, you the one with the easy job. No, I'm the one who makes shit happen. And what's that supposed to mean? It means I'm the one who gets my hands dirty. You call the shots, but you don't make none. So you really think I don't put in work no more? Look, let me tell you something. I'm the type of nigga that'll put a bullet in your head, watch you die, and not lose an ounce of sleep. And you right. I don't get my hands dirty. I write checks. So don't get it twisted. I'm still the alpha dog. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I took the liberty of ordering your espresso. Hope that's okay. You're welcome. I will say I was a bit surprised when you called. Usually when Sean wants to meet with me, he has Jane contact me. Well, that because it wasn't Sean that wanted to meet with me. It was me. Why? Let's say I have some information that I'm sure you'd be interested in. I'm listening. I'm assuming you're aware of the upcoming sale of the Davenport estate? I am. And that Prestige is one of the potential buyers? What does that have to do with Alan? How does 17% of shareholder stock sell? Why do I get the sense there's more? Come on, Myron. You ain't got a lie to kick it. Mm. Okay. Well, in that case, yeah, that 17% could turn into 50 if you play your cards right. Mm. You see, I'm purchasing 17% along with the 5.8 million that's owed to me. Hey, I figured you might want a piece of this pie. So let me get this straight. I'll buy my shares from you and then be 50% shareholder. What makes you think Sean is going to agree to this? And if he does agree to this, that means he won't have a shot at the Davenport estate. Do I sense trouble in paradise? Or are you looking to get into the real estate game now? <laughs> no, no, not at all. You see me, I'm on something totally different. So tell me, your personal feelings wouldn't happen to cloud your judgment on this, would you? You know, I know you and Sean have gotten quite close these days, and uh, I wouldn't want him thinking that I'm, you know, sniffing around in this yard. It's not my fault if you boys can't play nice. At the end of the day, I'm a businesswoman first. Hmm. All right. So do we have a deal? Mr. Hicks, if you can hold up your end, we have a deal. Hello? What's up, bro? Shit. I ain't left this bitch about three weeks, bro. And they ain't gonna catch me either. Yeah, I shot that nigga. And that bitch got one coming too. Shit. All right. Man, I hope this is the last one. Well, this is the last address, so. Yeah. Man, Pat. I don't want this case going cold. 
double homicide, mother and a son. It's gonna be a pleasure putting this asshole away. And you know, I hope he runs because if he does- Kim, all right, look, this ain't personal. All right, we apprehend, subdue the suspect, we take him in for prosecution. That's it. Are we clear? Yeah, Crystal. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. That's our guy. Shout out my nigga Renegade. What up? Do it. Oh, he's gonna do it. Don't do it. Okay, I'm Don't. sure that you've been noticing that practice makes perfect. I'm up the surface on the money making mission. No, I'm perfect. I'm hated. Like, I'm gonna win. I'm still gonna look. The money be in the way. The side black. Everything, nigga. NWA. And all my niggas, they be on gold. That thing on my waist might lift your soul. Then you're back to the business like you ain't even know what you're my dress. I ain't low, but the clips took a long time. The last never blow up for your first night. We're home. You try one of us, situation get fatal. You try your practice if you catch you slipping. We don't go. Turn it right. All of my niggas on go, go. Or set up a list and get more. Oh, really, you let me know. Easy way to do this. I'm always pissed in the coat. Oh, I'll come with you when we go. My struggle, I hit it and go. All of my niggas on go. Oh, really, you let me know. So, really, I get it and go. I'm always pissed in the coat. I'll come with you when we go. My struggle, I hit it and go. Terry, Frank, you have the right oh. to remain silent. Oh. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Oh. Don't have one. One will be appointed to you. Oh, you on, understand man. these rights? Mm. I bred them to you. This bitch, you crazy. Kim! I thought I said subdue the suspect. Bitch! Think he broke my nose! Now it is. And you're welcome. Really, Detective? You okay? Give, give us a minute. Quick one. We gotta get you to hot food to get those bullshit done. Yeah. Thank you. What the hell does that look for? You gotta stop overreacting. That, that reckless crap you pulled back there? That's gonna wind up costing you big time. And you'll be lucky if the DA doesn't file assault charges against you. So I'm supposed to apologize for doing my job? If I hadn't come along and saved your ass, you'd be dead right now. So how about a little less scolding and a lot more gratitude? Look, I'm grateful and I'm appreciative. I'm just trying to help you keep your job. But the more you do things the way you want to do them, you don't make it easier on me, yourself, or this department. Easy? Nothing has been easy for me since the day I joined the force. I'm the first one in and the last out that door. I give 100% to this job daily, but do I ever get a good job Reyes way to go? No, I have to prove myself that I belong here every single day. But who cares, right? As long as I play by everybody else's rules, I'm good. Let me do something out of the norm and it's Reyes is a real cop. She's not making things easy for herself or the department. So you or anyone else in this department who has something to say about how I do my job can kiss my ass. And you'll never make first grade with that attitude. We gotta get going, detective.
Reyes. We just what the hell? I just got a call from the hospital. They treated Terry Franks for two cracked ribs, a fractured wrist, and a broken nose. Captain, I... I don't want to hear it. Pat's been in much worse situations than this. He's never used this much excessive force on a suspect. Did you talk to him? I mean... He texted me. He told me he had to use excessive force. I just came to make sure he's okay. Yeah, you just missed him. That was him? Yes, sir. Reyes, Pat told me what you did to defuse this situation. It's a good job, Detective. Thank you, Prestige, this is Sean Kemp. Hey, how are you? Good, good. Oh, yeah. Well, I can also guarantee that uh, those properties will be available. Prestige will buy those old homes and renovate them for needy families. Yeah, so uh, how much are we talking? $12 million? Okay, good, good. Well, what about the appreciation? Are we talking a 3 to 5 percent differential? Good, good. That'll be just fine. All right, thank you. You as well. We'll be in touch. Yes. What was that about, baby? That was the Davenport Estate. It's available. But that's over 90 acres of land. Baby, are you sure we can buy that? I thought the state placed the highest bid. The state? Well, Sean Kemp has a meeting later on today with a guarantor. <laughs> but, but what makes you think he's going to sell? Shh. You know he's not going to sell. Shh. Baby, a good businessman knows a good deal when he hears it. Baby, you know if he sells, he's not going to sell cheap. I mean, how are we going to have enough money to buy him out and then still afford the Davenport estate? Baby, let me worry about the negotiations, all right? Now. Don't you have some clients that would like to see some properties later on today? <laughs> oh no, boo boo. I'll write and collect checks. If you need me, I'll be at Lennox Mall. <laughs> Son of a bitch! What is it, babe? Nothing. Listen, I need to go to the office to work on the proposal for this Davenport estate. Um, well, do you need anything from me? Because you want to call Carol Thomas to see who has the best chance. No need. Our chances are better than average. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Yo, what's up? Did you get it done? Okay. Well, only do the ones in Buckhead. Alright? Do two of them. And make it look like an accident. Yeah, where you at anyway? Yeah, man, I'm headed to All Star Realty, man. I got a meeting. No, nah, no, nah, I don't need no help. Alright? Oh, yeah, it's an easy one, man. Okay. So what did he say? Nothing important. Look, I got a run to make on the west side. You wanna go? Hell no. Well, tomorrow's the big day. Mm -hmm. I get my money from him. You get yours from me. <laughs> and we both be richer than we ever imagined. You're not even the least bit concerned? Psst. Hell no. Sound don't shine way too well. He ain't about that life no more. <laughs> what about Sandra? Please. <laughs> She's not even a little bit of a threat. Like I told you, once Sean brought Marcel into the picture, she was taking off anything legal as far as prestige is concerned. <laughs> She's not even aware that she doesn't even have stock anymore. 
that's why it's gonna be so easy for us but just in case things don't go like I planned you make sure you do like I told you to I got this it's amazing what a hidden camera can do <laughs> you know I love it when a man takes control why don't you come over here and control me some more mm. Right. Say she wanna get up, wanna nigga pick you up. I know she wanna. Oh, took you when he ain't look. So from here, the city council members from the various cities around 285 could never come to a consensus as to whether or not to build it because no one ever believed there would ever be enough traffic coming through Atlanta to justify that rich kind of creeps. Oh yeah. Yeah, you Oh yeah, yeah. And, and, and as you might imagine, one of the greatest contracts that has ever been fulfilled in this city was a concrete contract. A concrete that poured 285 set off the other runways at Hartsfield Jackson and the rest is history. Wow. Yeah. If you'll, if you'll be patient, I have a small learner. <laughs> And I'm looking so forward to being your partner, sir. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Here's my wife right here. Hello, hey. hello, hello. Hey, Sandra. This is John. Miss Sandra, I'm John. Pleased to meet you. And my lovely yeah. wife, Miss Tina. Tina, Hi. please meet Miss Sandra. Nice to meet you as nice nice well. And this is Mary. This is Miss Mary. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. you. I love you. All right, so uh, I'd like to propose a toast to our success as we grow globally. Prestige. 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 All right. Okay. Uh, let's talk about investment. We need us some more wine. I hope, girl. Yeah, come on. Come on, Sam. Our company's merch would be like gods of the real estate game. <laughs> now, Sheila, in case you haven't noticed, we're already on top. And the last time I checked, your company had made a significant sale since 2012. <laughs> So, why would Prestige merge with a company that barely has a pulse? Ouch! That was low. Even for you. So, since you won't let me buy my way in, yes, how about you buy me out? Hey, I had to try. <laughs> so, what's the secret saying? How does Sean do it? I mean, you guys have had more sales in the last six years than any other real estate company in Atlanta. And I'm not talking about just regular homes. These are million dollar celebrity homes. The Davenport Estate was obviously your biggest acquisition thus far. Shit. I can't get a celebrity to drive by one of our homes. <laughs> Hell, I can't get a B-list celebrity to drive by. <laughs> well, Sheila, he's a very persuasive man. In more ways than one. I trust him, Sheila. I mean, yes, we've had our differences, just like any married couple, but I believe he's changed, and I trust him with my life. So the fact that you started this company with the money that your dad left you, as Sean, not having one dime in it, is the one that's getting all of the credit now? <laughs> Where's your contribution, saying? It wasn't you that got the Businessman of the Year award, and it isn't you who's been interviewed in all of the magazines. So it seems like to me, your company has become his company, and he runs it as he sees fit. And when you get finished, the answer's still no. <laughs> strikes but I see it. Look man, you, I'm gonna take care of this shit, okay? <laughs> Look, you have nothing to, I assure you, you got nothing to worry about. When have I not? Alright? That's what I'm about. I'm gonna handle it. Look man, let me call you back. 
one of my lackluster employees just walked in. So you can't answer my calls or my texts? How did it go last night? We good? First of all, last time I checked, I'm a grown ass man who come and go as he pleases. And yeah, we good. Why would we be? You pretty comfortable about that, huh? Yeah, sure, why not? That's why. Serial arson strikes again. <laughs> Man, this ain't shit. Look, I don't think you got anything to worry about. I don't pay you to think. I pay you to do a job, Myra. That means you do what I ask you to. Now you got a label as an arson. Look, if you had stuck with the original plan, none of this would be an issue. So before you decide to grow a brain, you might want to consider who you work for. Come on, Sean. I get in and I get out. This is what I do. I've been doing this shit for you way too long. As a matter of fact, I think it's time for an upgrade in my position. An uh, upgrade? Yeah. I assume you still haven't thought about my proposal. <laughs> the way I see it, since I'm the one who's getting his hands dirty, I should be the one who's more compensated. <laughs> Eleven years, Sean. That's how long I've been making your ass a boatload of money. So, I think you stop treating me like I'm the lowest man on the totem pole and recognize who you do. And you can start with a little bit more respect. Pompous, disrespectful, low life, punk ass fool. Let me tell you something. The only reason you living right now is because I allow you to. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. I, I'm running this. You ain't running shit. Blah blah, be blah, 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 blah. Be careful. Blah, blah. blah. <laughs> man, that tough man shit don't work on me no more. <laughs> Look here, Mr. Kemp. Let me take a page out of your book. You either cut me in on more money and a bigger title, or I take what I know about the way you do things to your side piece and uh, what I do for you to Sandra. You remember Sandra, right? The wife of yours who don't know what a piece of shit her husband really is? <laughs> or better yet, I know a company that'd be real interested in the way you run business. Yeah, I think you heard of him. Um, what's their name? Damn, I'm up. The FBI. You think I'm bluffing? Try me. What do you want? I want 50% of shareholder stock. And I want half of each buyer. The last three buyers told the 5.8 million. Anything else? Yeah. No more hands on things. Makes no sense of me getting my hands dirty. I think I have somebody else do that for me from now on. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Myra. I'm impressed, man. Well, thank you. You've obviously learned from the best. I try. <laughs> I misjudged you. Yeah. Now, you know, seriously, I, I think you deserve everything you asked for and more. So, how do you want your money? Transferred to an account or cash? Cash. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. Well, since we both know I don't have that kind of money on me, looks like 
looks like we're gonna have to uh, visit Marcel. Oh, so now I finally get to meet the infamous Marcel. Well, yeah, I mean, that's only appropriate since that's where your money's coming from. Jane, have Clarkston bring vehicle number 15 down to the front. I'll be down in a minute. Thank you. Uh, what? Terry's not our driver no more? Come on, man. We don't want everybody in our business. Now let's go handle it. Yeah, man. Hey, you know what, man? Let me tell you something. I'm proud of you, man. Oh, well, thank you, sir. No, for real, I'm proud of you, man. You know. You know, over the years, you've really shown yourself, man. I'm proud of you, man. I learned from the best. Absolutely, man. <laughs> Let me get this paper. Hey, look, I've been cold. Your girl can call me when I'm man. With a fresh on point, like the little nigga tell them go on. Look, I'm a mess. I'm truly blessed. You tell me all the time. I tell her, thank you, mama. See that I'm just on my grind. And I don't make excuses. I do get tired. tired. Eyes wash up, but I'm focused like a sensei. I be post like I'm Big Diesel. I'm Big Diesel. No, I'm not pleased to meet you. If you ain't talking about money, get out my line. I'll leave you with my wrist. Uh, if you ain't talking about no more to your covers, he relevant. If you ain't getting to no pimp, your ass ain't doing shit. And if you been sleeping no sis, let me toss you this blanket be Cause I've been cold, this that Daryl flu shit If you ain't talking about no more to your covers, irrelevant If you ain't getting to no pimp, your ass ain't doing shit And if you been sleeping no sis, let me toss you this blanket be Cause I've been cold, this that Daryl flu shit Bring it back, sweating in the gym, gotta stay fine Cause I got this man and he's all mine, he make me smile, take all my time, but I don't mind, I just put in work every time that he calls me, sex so good, can't seem to keep him off me, Damn, oh, man, you hit up, boy, yeah. to my last day, put feel the pain, I'm sitting back in the middle, what? I said, man, you don't hear that, man, hold up, man, you don't hear that, hold up, Cuz I can't hear you. Yeah, see, one thing you ain't learned, nigga. I don't trust a nigga if that nigga ain't me. Yo, what up? Yo, we got a problem. Yeah, I had to get rid of Myron's ass. Nah. Nah. He tried to bite the hand that fed him. And he won't be eating no more. It's handy. Yeah. Peace.
Uh, that don't sound too convincing. Well, I had an unexpected surprise today. Myron quit. <laughs> so? I mean, you can find anybody to do upkeep on our properties. I'm surprised you kept them around this long. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, um, by the let way. Me, let me get some of that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I was checking our books and I came across some transactions that were concerning me. I mean, I know last quarter we made over 500000 but in the books it was saying 50000 And there's 5000 that's unaccounted for. Let's let Edward take a look at it in the morning, all right? Edward? Sean, I've been looking at the books since I started this company. There's nothing Edward can tell me that I don't already know. Look, well, maybe you made a mistake. Oh, that's what you think? No. What I meant. That's not what I meant. Baby. Look, all I'm saying is, maybe there was something that you missed. Something small. Alright? We'll let Edward take a look at it in the morning. It'll be okay. Alright? Now, if you would excuse me, I need to go hit this shop. <clears throat> Hello, Ed. Hi, it's Sandra. How are you? <laughs> good, good. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Um, listen, um, I was just wondering, was there any strange activity going on in our account last quarter? No? No? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I was just checking. All right. Thanks, Ed. Bye. Kemp, Sandra, 5-8-4-6, Look, look. Dude! Dude! Come on, man. What you doing? Hey, what you got into now, man? Dude, where you at? Hey, can you send a car out here to 1975 Troop Smith Road? Yeah, there's a body out here. Right there. I thought somebody was supposed to be on vacation. And leave you guys to ruin my crime scene? Whatever. Ah. Wow. What do we got? Found the body this morning from the decomposing. I'd say he's been here about three weeks. Gunshot wounds to the torso. Oh. We didn't have any ID on him. The only thing we found was five thousand dollars cash and a bag of jewelry. It's like this guy pissed somebody off pretty bad. Yeah. Thanks. We'll take it from here. All right. Hey Cam, can you get a few more shots and take this evidence for me? All's in your report now. Pretty well dressed, if you ask me. <laughs> Why? These are $500 shoes, Cordier. Looks like, took a few of the stomach. Could be close range. Ah, uh, shit. 
Yeah. Well, two things for certain, but one thing's for sure. Whoever did this knew him. We got anything with a print on it? Well, we'll see what comes back from the jury. I'll put a word into my CI, see if he knows anything. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got something. Allen Realty Company. You think he's a real estate agent? Well, he didn't have any more on him. I say we check this place out. Let's do it. Reyes, this is my partner, Detective Gray. We're with Atlanta PD. We'd like to speak with Miss Allen if she's available. I can check for you. Thank you. Miss Allen, I have Detective Reyes and Detective Gray here to see you. Okay, I'll let them know. She said she'll be out in just a moment. If you guys have hit that way, she'll be right out with you. Thank you. No problem. Priscilla Allen. How, How can doing? I help you? Okay. Well, Miss Allen, I'm Detective Reyes. This is my partner, Detective Gray. We're the Atlanta PD Homicide Division. We'd like to ask you some questions. What's this about? Well, Miss Allen, your card was found on a homicide victim this morning. Do you know this man? No, can't say that I do. Miss Allen, it would really help us out if you take a closer look. For what? I told you I've never seen this person before. Uh. If he had my business card on him, chances are he's got it from someplace I've been. I'm all over this city. I'm sorry I couldn't be of any help to you. But if you'll excuse me, I have a business to run. She does have a point, though. I mean, our victim could have gotten her card from anywhere. So what's the next move, then? Let's see what comes back off that jewelry. That'll tell us who our mystery guy is. Copy. Yep. Have a good one. Hello, is Mr. Kemp available? Sure, I'll hold. Mr. Kemp? Yes. I have Priscilla Allen on the line. Oh, send it through. Priscilla, what's up, sexy? What can I do to you? <laughs> I mean, do for you. You can't do a damn thing for me except give me my 50% shareholder stock. Is there a meeting that I missed or something? Uh, no, but I'm sure you didn't miss anything in your meeting with Myron. Priscilla, I don't know what you're talking about. Myron Cut quit. the shit, Sean. I know about your meeting with Myron. I know about the shareholder percentage and the 5.8 million that was owed to him. But now he'll never get it, will he? Look, again, Priscilla, seriously, I don't know what you're talking about or what it is you think you may know, but... Oh, you don't? So how about I tell those two nice little detectives that just left my office that you were the last one to see Myron alive? Let's go somewhere and discuss this. No, let's discuss it now. Can we work something out? Oh, like you worked it out with Myron? No, thank you. You see, there's two things that I don't play with. My hair and my money. And now you're playing with my money, Sean. So cut it out and stop with the innocent act. Look, I don't do business over the phone. So I'm going to text you from my private line. Meet me at that address. Yeah, okay, you do that. Okay. 
be out of the office for the rest of the day. Can you forward all my calls, please? Okay, Ms. Allen. persuade me or work your way out of this. I know what Myron's role was in this company and I know what he proposed to you. Why is this so interesting to you? What was promised to you? Now see, you've been dying to get a percentage of prestige stock. So much so <laughs> that you're willing to throw in some extra incentives by the way, I wasn't impressed. I don't even remember it. Probably because it was over before it even got started. And you see, it's this immature wordplay that doesn't move me a bit. It's not stupid, Sean. Myron owed me, and now because of you, he can't deliver. What do you want, Priscilla? I want prestige. Don't look surprised, baby. You out your rabbit ass mind. You think you can come in here and demand my damn company? Oh, your company, huh? Let me let you in on a little secret. See, I know about your silent business partner. What would Sandra say if she knew you were giving her money to a stranger? And a woman at that. I want half. I want a piece of every buyout. And I want what you owed Myron. Just for my troubles. But if you play nice, I'll let you be majority owner. I don't need another partner. And if you think my wife will believe a word of this, you out your goddamn mind. Once the FBI gets a hold of this, I don't think they'll have a problem convincing her. Is that the only one? I said, is that the only one? Good night, Mr. Kemp. Wait. Wait. Meet me at this address tomorrow. We'll drop the paperwork. After that, I want that flash drive. We'll see. Hey, it's me. Follow her home. I want that flash drive. Find it.
Hey, that's me. Yeah, it's done. But you're not gonna believe what I'm finding on this flash drive. Hey, Pat, take a look at this. I think yeah. you'll find this interesting. We got hit off the jewelry from our victim. Myron Hicks, 34 years old, three priors, one for evidence tampering, petty larceny, and second degree assault. I mean, nothing major, no word jail time, just a three year bit, but I asked my snitch to find out what he could. Turns out he worked for Prestige Realty Company. Prestige. Why do I know that name? Jesus, Pat, do you live under a rock? Prestige is the number one realty company in Atlanta. They got property all over. I mean, mostly upper class celebrity homes, but. So, how does our convicted felon wind up working in a spot like that? I checked and he did not have a real estate license. Maybe maintenance. With $500 shoes and a pocket full of cash, not likely. You reaching again. What if I'm not? All right, I'll get my jacket. Reyes, we got a body at Buckhead. So I want you to drop whatever you're doing, and I want you to get out there. Here's the address. And I want you to take the lead on this. Captain, I, Detective Gray, do you have a problem with that? Uh, Cap, we got a lead on the Hicks case. Okay, work it. But make this the priority. All right. After you. What we got? African American woman, early 30s. Total rigor mortis hasn't set completely, so I'd say she's in bed 12 to 18 hours. Stabbed twice in the back, fatal wound on her neck. Nervous like that. Couldn't find that part of it. We'll take it away. Get you some sleep. Priscilla Allen? You think this has something to do with Myron Hicks? It's either that or one hell of a coincidence. Let's see who she was talking to. Yeah, let me check her phone. No calls in or out, and no text messages. Yeah, what do you know about the dad dad report say? Just that every major real estate company is looking to buy it. Why? Apparently Allen Realty was a front runner. Hmm. Yes, this is Detective Kimberly Reyes, Atlanta PD Homicide Division. I need you to dump the phone records for number 770-555-2512. No, we'll come get them. Thanks. I said it makes sense. What do you mean? According to these numbers, Allen Realty couldn't afford the Davenport estate. Maybe she was about to make some big sales or something. Right, big sales. All right, uh, let's take what we got. Let's see what we can find out. So what happened with our victim from this morning? We have a Priscilla Allen, 32 years old, single and owner of Allen Realty. She was very wealthy and even looking to buy the Davenport Estate. The Davenport Estate has already been bought. What about the Vic's phone records? Uh, yeah, she had a call come through from an undisclosed number. The text was, meet me at Amoretti's. We'll get on it. You want to take the lead on this one, too? Don't get pissy with me. Hey, detectives, how about sometime during my life? Let's go.
welcome to Amoretti's. We're not open right now, but how can I help you guys? Yes, I'm Detective Reyes. This is my partner, Detective Gray. We're with the Land Beauty Homicide Division. And we're wondering, have you ever seen this woman in here before? Yes, she was in here night before last. By herself? No, she was with Mr. Kemp. Kemp, as in Christy, you really? Yes, he's one of our favorites. They ordered martinis, they sat for a while, and then she left. And when did Mr. Kemp leave? I'm not sure. You're not sure? No, I'm not. Thanks for your cooperation. Thank Welcome. you. Anytime. This is Kentucky Murder Just Got Good. Hicks, Allen, and now Sean Kemp? Yeah. This can't just be one of the coincidence. You're right. It's not. Mr. Kemp. Yes. What you doing? Detective Gray. This is my partner, Detective Reyes, Atlanta PD Homicide. We'd like to ask you a few questions about an employee of yours, Myron Hicks. Oh, I'm sorry, Detective, but Myron no longer works for us. When was the last time you spoke to him? Maybe about a month ago, since he submitted his resignation letter. Why did he resign? Well, he told me he had another job. Is everything okay? Mr. Hicks was found dead three weeks ago. Wow. Wow. That's hard to believe. Mr. Kemp, what exactly did Mr. Hicks do for you? Uh, a little bit of everything, to tell you the truth. Uh, he appraised for us, checked on our properties, made sure all our properties were up to par, a little bit of light maintenance here and there. Kind of like a jack of all trades. So, do you know if he had any enemies? I mean, was he liked? Do you know any reason why someone would want to kill him? No, he was happy. Everybody liked him. Man, I can't think of a reason why somebody would want to kill Myra. Would you say he was compensated well? Detective, all of my employees are compensated very well. Perhaps you should consider getting your real estate license. I'd be more than happy to interview you. Hmm. Mr. Kemp, Mr. Hicks had a substantial amount of cash on him. Any idea why he'd be carrying money like that? Nope. I have no idea. Uh, I'd be more than happy to get my secretary to pull his pay stubs for his weekly wages. You can verify that. Yeah. Yeah. Look, if there's anything else that I can help you with, just let me know. Yes, actually. Do you know Priscilla Allen? Yeah, I do. We're business associates. When did you last see her? Uh, the night before last. We had drinks at Amoretti's. We talked for a while, and uh, then she left. And what time was that? About 9, 9-ish. And what did you do after that? <laughs> I had my drink, and then I went home to my wife. And your wife can verify that? Absolutely. Why, why all the questions about Priscilla? I guess you didn't hear. Mr. Kemp, Miss Allen was found murdered two nights ago. What? Oh, this, this is horrible. Shocked? We were colleagues. Look, detectives, I need some time to process this, okay? If there's anything else that I can help you with, just let me know. Well, if you can think of anything else, Mr. Kemp, please don't hesitate to this call. You have a good day. What an asshole. He's not telling us everything. And I'm curious to know, why someone would want to leave a place like this if he was compensated so well. And Hicks and Allen, I want to know if they knew each other. Yeah, some of them smell right. Yeah. Let's keep digging, partner.
Yo, what's up? It's me. Man, them damn detectives came by asking all kinds of questions about Myron and Priscilla. Nah, man, I didn't tell them shit. I don't even know how they knew about him. He was supposed to keep his damn mouth shut. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, you know how I like it, so. Yeah, I'll catch you later. See you soon. Why'd you cover for me the night we got Frank's? No thanks necessary. I wasn't saying thank you. Excuse me? I can handle my own heat. I don't need your charity. Oh, Jesus, Kim. When are you gonna grow the hell up? We've been partners for, what, nine years? And you're just as stubborn now as the day you were when we first met. Look, I appreciate what you did, but you didn't have to. And last I checked, my parents were in Phoenix. Look, let me explain to you about partners, okay? All right, partners look out for each other. They got each other's back. But most of all, they care about each other's future. And yours, Kim? Yours? And the sky's the limit. Yeah, thanks. So what's up with this guy? Any good? Yeah, he's been my informant now for three years. So far, I haven't had any problems with him. Hasn't let me down yet. And just like clockwork, here he comes. So if I leave right now, don't be surprised and don't take it personal. Then don't be surprised when I yank you from the car, kick your ass all over the place, then take you in for assault and a police officer. Hey ass, get out your feelings. It was just bullshitting. What'd you find out? Look, he ain't had no other job. And he damn sure didn't have the credentials to work for a big time real estate company either. This dude ain't had a tax return in like six years. Table money. <laughs> Damn, man, you should be a detective. Look, you don't drive a Benz and floss money in the hood without leaving a paper trail. And niggas in the streets not worried about why Myra Pocket stayed fat. Anybody know what he was doing? Where it was, he was destroying properties for profit. No one knows if he worked for a specific person. He made sure he covered his tracks. So how do you know so much? <laughs> Cuz, I'm ace. I am the streets. You better ask somebody about me. What the hell is that? Don't ask. What do you know about Hicks doing freelance work for Prestige Realty Company? Listen, Sean Kemp a G for real. He stacked his paper and made it happen big in the real estate game. But a dude still hood. Don't get it twisted. If Myron did work for Sean, I doubt he want to do him bad. Listen, listen, you two. I hate to break up this little love fest y'all got going on. I just want to get my paper. Reyes, how about you keep your money and let me take your sexy ass out to dinner? How about I bring my foot up in your ass and keep my money? Get lost. Damn, Ray. How you want to handle this? Let's check out. Let's check out Kemp some more. What's the best way to become number one, Kemp? Eliminate the competition. That's right. Let's go. Homicide, Reyes. Where you at? All right, I'll be there in 30. Hey, yo, Callahan.
cover for me. I gotta run out quick. Okay. Nah. Hot. Well, what do you have? Found out Mark was about to make a big come up. He was Sean's right hand man. He was doing all his dirty work. What do you mean? I mean, half of the properties that Prestige owned was because they was forcing motherfuckers to sell out. And my guess was when they didn't, that's when property started getting destroyed. But why not go to the police? Are you serious? Sean Kemp ain't the type of dude you snitch on. Myra worked for him, but he didn't trust him. Word was, he wanted out. Well, why leave a good thing? That's the same thing I said. Apparently, he was supposed to get with somebody else to put the squeeze on Sean. Listen, either he was going to get more money, or he was going to shut Sean down permanently. What do you know about Priscilla Allen? Nothing except he was banging her. Look, that's none of my concern. I just need to get this money from you so I can get the hell out of Dodge. Thanks. No problem. Pat, I think I figured out what happened to Hicks. All right, listen. Apparently, he's going to try and buy out his boss with the help of another company. Yeah, get this. We were right about Kemp. He was not only extorting real estate companies, but destroying the properties also. Hicks knew and was in on it too. I'm headed to Kemp's office right now to try to shake him up, get him to talk. No, 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 no. Uh, Kemp, wait, wait for me. We'll do it together. No, I got this. Kemp, I don't trust this guy. No, no, no. Oh, and while we wait, who knows what this guy will do next? I mean, come on, Pat, to hell is by the book crap. All right, all right. I'll call you on my, my on my way to the station. Bye. Come here. Mr. Kemp. Hey, Detective Reyes. To what do I owe this visit? Oh, I'm just following up about your former employee, Myron Hicks. Yeah. Did you know Myron had a side job? Turns out, he was destroying properties for profits. That explains the money we found on him the day we discovered his body. What's more interesting is that the properties that were being destroyed belonged to companies you were in competition with. We tried to talk to those company owners, but to our surprise, they're no longer in business because your company bought them out. And the ones who declined your offer, I guess it's merely a coincidence that after they turned you down, their property started being destroyed. No one wants to talk to us when it comes to Sean Kemp and Prestige Realty. Everyone seems to be intimidated. And what the hell does that have to do with me? I think you know exactly what the hell this has to do with you. I think you gave those orders to Myron. I think you intimidated and forced those companies to sell. And I think if they're still in business, they pay you just to stay relevant. Or how about Myron? Teaming up with another company to buy you out. That must have really pissed you off, huh? Especially when you found out it was with Priscilla Allen. That's right, your associate. Now I say we take a trip around the corner to the station so you can answer some questions. Let me get my jacket. Detective knows everything. 
No, she didn't mention you. No, man, I wouldn't do that. Look, go ahead and transfer some money into the Swiss account. I'll take a jet to Rio and I'll wait for you. Nah, nah, don't worry about the detective. Let's just hope she knows how to swim. This time it won't be a body to discover. Nah, man, Sandra, don't worry about her. It's time to cash in on her anyway. Alright, yeah. See you soon. Still alive? That won't last much longer. You think you so damn smart. Priscilla and Myron, they got exactly what was coming to them. See, Detective, anytime you cross me or attempt to cross me, get dealt with. Now you and I are about to take a little trip. Saying it's me, listen, I gotta go to Rio for business. It was last minute. There are some investors I set up a meeting with. Now this opportunity can make prestige go global. So what I need you to do for me is get my black suit and my duffel bag and have it ready for me when I get to the house, all right? Now listen, look, I'll be home in an hour, all right? So I'll see you then. So you going through my shit again? It fell out of the closet. What is it that you and Myron have going on? And better yet, who is this Marcel? Hey, you know what? I'm not even about to argue with you. I'm glad you found the phone. Now I can stop lying to myself and to you. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about this bullshit of a marriage. I'm talking about faking like I love you, and I'm talking about coming here and dreading it. You selfish? Son of a bitch. You know what? If you want to leave, you can get the fuck out. But you ain't taking my company or my money. It's my money too. But it's okay, sweetheart. See, while you out there shopping, trying to look good for the cameras, I got me a solid partner. Who you think been fronting the money for all those companies? Yeah, that's right, baby. I'm taking my company with me. Oh, no the hell you not. I'm not about to let you and some bitch take my company. Oh, no, it ain't going down like that. You got to fight on your hands. See, that's your problem, Sam. You think you know everything. You got all the answers, don't you? Yeah, that's what I like about Marcel. You know what? Who is this Marcel? Another gold digging trick from your past? <laughs> Marcel is my silent partner. Yeah, Marcel does for me what you can't do. And that's get that money, baby. That's what. So that explains this. You know what? Truth hurts, don't it? All the work around.
My name is Sandra Kemp, and I have information about the Myron Hicks murder. And I also just murdered my husband. The detective's name over the case is Patrick Gray. Here, Miss Pat. Callahan said you left early. You haven't checked in with anybody? Listen, I got a call from dispatch. They say Sandra Kemp murdered her husband. I'm headed over there now. Call me when you get this, okay? Or I'll see you there. Call me. Bye. Has Detective Reyes gotten here yet? No, sir. I got blood! Papa. Kim. Call an ambulance! about other companies, a silent partner in Mar Myron Hicks. I just found it tonight. I don't need that far. Okay, just, are you prepared to make a statement? Officer, let's go Mrs. Kemp to the station.
Jess is in a coma. She's lost a lot of blood. Right now, the doctors don't know if she's going to make it through the night. So I need you to call me ASAP. And whatever you're doing out there, please think about it first. Pat, don't throw your career away. Looking for somebody. And you are? The detective Patrick Gray. Barton. Two cinnamon whiskey shots. Yes, sir. So what can I do for you, detective? You can start by telling me everything you know about Sean Kemp. <laughs> You're the detective. Why don't you tell me? Listen to me, you slick talking son of a bitch. I got a partner in a coma. I got a woman traumatized probably for the rest of her life. And two murders. And it seems to all come back to you. So stop screwing around with me and tell me what I want to know. My pleasure. I have something in my possession that you will find very interesting. But there are conditions in which I'll show it to you. I don't make deals with murderers. It's a one-time offer, Detective. You won't get it again. This is your last chance. We done with this field trip yet? You patient, Detective. Best is yet to come. After you, detective. Showtime. You and Mrs. Kemp. We're laying together. What the hell's going on? Desperate times call for desperate measures. I simply saw an opportunity to become rich. I met Sean a few years ago out of function, and he was an easy mark. A man looking to become powerful. The company was going under, and prestige was on the shopping block. So I made him an offer he couldn't refuse. Why'd you have Myron Hicks murdered? Not my call. He was starting to make Sean nervous. Besides, he was getting way too close to the truth. Truth? What truth? That he has a man for a lover? The same man that's sleeping with his wife? <laughs> man, you're way off. You know what? The more you talk, the sicker I get. But you know what? It's time to go. Hold up, wait. Don't you want to see the grand finale? <laughs> Do you know what makes for a good magic trick detective? It's the ability to create an illusion. See, a good magician, he can make you believe one thing when in fact, it's the total opposite of what you thought it was. You're not a magician. You're just a piece of trash. Well, you're going down. Oh, is that a fact? That's a fact. <laughs>
you done made me do. I ain't wanna have to kill a nigga today. Some niggas just gotta run the hallway. Given the illusion he was trying to kill you. What do you think it is you walked in on, Detective? What do you think happened before you got there? You think it was a coincidence you were sent to his house? Or a coincidence you seen a text message in his phone from me? It's not you. It's not you. You're not the silent partner. You did me a favor by killing Sean. I ain't gotta do it now. <laughs> Don't be so surprised, Detective. Like I said before, the illusion. It's like I said, Detective Gray. I thought you guys were smart. Shit, what took so long, baby? I found his insurance policy. I have to take care of something. Hope you found it, baby. I did. Thank you. 